President Obama has said all along uh, about Hillary Clinton's private server. Private server? What name so? I, I don't know about it. In fact, here, let's go to President Obama. Did you know about Hillary Clinton's use of a private email server? No. While she was Secretary of State? No. Do you think it posed a national security problem? I don't think it posed a national security problem. I think that it, uh, it was a mistake that she's acknowledged. Didn't know anything about it. He said uh, he learned about it in the press just like everybody else did. Internally, according to the WikiLeaks emails, uh, John, uh, I'm sorry, Josh Schwerin, Clinton spokesperson, says this in an email. You probably have more on this, but it looks like POTUS just said he found out uh, Hillary Clinton was using her personal email when he saw it in the news. Okay, And then uh, they go on to say this. Uh, we need to clean this up. He has emails from her. They do not say state.gov. In other words, he knew. Um, now, it, it's possible. He's the president. He's a busy guy. Uh, maybe he didn't see state, that it was missing state.gov. Uh, so it's not 100%. It's not completely certain here. But obviously the Clinton team internally thought the president isn't telling the truth. And, and part of the reason I do this story is not because Obama telling that political lie there is the most important lie there is. He's told far worse ones, I think far more important ones. Um, and not because I'm shocked and chagrined that Obama would lie, but the exact opposite. I want you guys to know, even if it's a politician you like, do they, uh, I was going to needlessly soften it like the mainstream media does. They always have to say, it. if you use a fancy word like prevaricate instead of lie, it, it makes it, you feel better. But there's no need to soften the blow. Does President Obama lie from time to time? Of course, of course he does. Look, the, the worst lies that I talk about is when it comes to, for example, drone strikes and missile strikes. We had one in Yemen that uh, hit a wedding party and we claimed that it didn't. And then uh, the journalist in Yemen, one of the top journalists in that country uh, back in the day, when he wrote about it and said, look, I've got the pictures of the bomb say made in the USA. Uh, they uh, asked the president of Yemen back then uh, to put him in jail as a terrorist and keep him in jail, even when he was going to pardon him later, uh, calling him a terrorist, when they full well knew he wasn't a terrorist, that he was one of the top journalists in Yemen. So that's a terrible lie, and I can give you a dozen other examples. Just because you largely agree with a politician or that even quote unquote like a politician doesn't mean that they're all completely honest, not anywhere near close to it. So just be clear eyed about how politics works. And so this is just one small example of how the president, yes, plays politics. He is a politician. And yes, from time to time, he most cer certainly lies. Did you guys know that we are only accountable to our members? These are the people that help keep our show independent and help prevent us from getting censored from corporate interests. If you want to help keep TYT independent, just go to tytnetwork.com join and become a member.